What's up everybody? It's your favorite second round last chance favorite nerd and today we are looking at the Bad Cube security director. Security director, which is their red alert. Now, I'll be honest, usually when it comes to repaints or remolds or whatever, I try to show the other transformation. But because this is Bad Cube, I'd rather slam my head against the wall than show the transformation of going from bot to vehicle. I can understand how that would be a disappointment to some, so I'll show you one. <laughs> All right, so we're even, right? This is all known to me from Robert D. He asked if I wanted to take a look at it. I said, is it worth taking a look at, really, if I've already looked at the side swipe? And he said, well, there is a few differences, so probably, and I said, well, then, in, by that by that case, then, by that case, in that case, or by those means, send it to me, or by all means. Turns of phrase are eating me up today, but let's take a look at some of these accessories. You get a little tool to help you swap out the covers for the headlights there. It's a little plastic bit. It actually has some sculpt work on it. <laughs> Which is funny. You get your translucent red alerts going mad things that go on his head. Everybody kind of does it. I guess you kind of have to do it. It's a thing. It's fine enough. And these things clip on his head just fine. He comes with a gun, nothing special, some decent sculpt work, but no paint. This does flip up and this does flip down similarly to the side swipe so you can stow it in car mode. He holds that gun just fine and the weapon stores in the crotch the same way as side swipe. And once again, they short you on a bag and instead they put it between a piece of tape. You get two swap out faces, one with, you know what? I hob is not a terrible name if they're gonna serve delicious hamburgers. And then one that's, well, what do you mean you're changing the name of IHOP? It's the International House of Pancakes. It's been that way forever. Face. They are detailed well enough. We got a paint scratch here on the eye of this one, so that's unfortunate. But this is actually my favorite face that I've seen of between the two. And then you get the two covers to put over top of the headlights, which requires you to disassemble most of this and swap it out, so I won't be doing that. Gimmick-wise, just like Sideswipe, you can get the doors to rotate up, and you can get the hood up. It is next to impossible to get. I had to actually shove this on the other side if you don't have uh, some sort of means to get in between that small space. So the vehicle rolls, no problems there. The white does look good. I think it's a gloss over top. The red paint is added down in here, and then the paint is added there, the black, and then on the hood there, that looks good as well. And it looks like somebody has some issues trying to get that hood open prior to me. And then we have blue translucent all over. That looks beautiful, really nice. And uh, the white actually looks pretty pearly and pretty, to be honest. But yeah, it's good enough. Silver on the wheels, I think it looks good. Size comparison wise, next to Tiger Tracks, it's fine. And of course, goes in the trailer. Getting them transformed is pretty similar. Just lift up your windows here. You need to open up this back plate. This is a little bit different. Just get this all the way up. This was attached to the legs, the side swipe. Make sure that you're separated at these connections. Separate the legs and accordion each side down. Each side, I said. Remove his gun. Split open the leg, fold this piece to the side to fold this piece all the way down. Then bring this piece up, rotate it around 180. As you do so, flip the heel spur to the opposite side, and then you can extend the foot up. Bring this gray flap out from the inside of the leg and this white flap out from the back side of the leg, and then smush the two together while pinning it to this knee joint there. And we can show that again. Split this open, rotate the foot to the inside so that you can move this piece down to the behind the wheel, rotate the foot up and the heel spur 180 to the other side, and then rotate the entire foot assembly around to the front and bring up the foot. Bring your gray piece out, your white piece up, and then connect the two while smushing it around the pin that's located at the knee. Untab the undercarriage here from the hood, and then you can get this middle section of the car out. Then you can extend the waist. Bring the head down, bring the arms out, separate the arm from the upper piece on both sides, and then bring the arms down. Bring the top of the head over on top, and then this flap up against the back of him. Turn his head 180. Then you want to turn this whole assembly 180, and as you do, make sure you get these little white circles around to the other side of the red piece so that they'll sit up. Slide your arms up on this slider times two. Collapse the two front pieces of the hood on that slider. And then you have to get these two pieces around to the front of his chest and everything tabbed in properly, which is the least fun 
of the transformation process. But you can do it if you try and if you believe in yourself. Sweet Christmas. Until the end, you get it to look something like this, and then you can slide the head forward a taste. Connect the shoulder utilizing this red tab and this white tab times two. Bring your rocket launcher out. Connect the two side pieces like we did with side swipe. And then you can sit that on his shoulder, rotate his fist down, extend this two piece flap here, slide the whole assembly down, and then wrap the forearm in this flap. Then orient the arm by turning the hand around, bringing this down and flapping over the side window. And we'll show that again. So fist out, this piece does move this door assembly piece, but get this double flap out and around, orient the arm and hand, cover the back window. Take these side windows on the back and fold them around so that they're facing the front. So separate, turn, fold down. Make sure, just like side swipe, that these two gray notches are angled back towards the rear of the vehicle. Then bring this remaining section up and clip it in the best you can to the inside of the bot, which usually takes a little bit of finagling. It's right in there that you're trying to get it on both sides. And then we'll clean them up and take a look at them. Let's talk about them. I do think there are certain things that work in this guy's advantage over top of the bag cube uh, side swipe. Like I think that this door here helps hide the proportion issues of the orange and uh, orange, 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 orange. The orange cat says orange, orange, you glad I didn't say banana, but arms and such like the how small the arms are in the weird kind of proportions of the arms this sort of window door situation helps hide a lot of that which i think ends up making it look a lot better so in that regard i think this guy displays much better all right so for the head same thing as before it's on a swiveled hinge which is the preferred way of doing business so you can get up to there down to there and then the swivel looks good the face gray looks good and the eyes look good painted blue then we have the rocket the rocket is painted red it's all a little sloppy around the edges of it but that's a small nitpick kind of a thing i still don't like the way this whole area looks it looks messy to me it it, it looks how it feels in a lot of ways but i don't care for that we have the waist swivel and we have the ab crunch Still a bit, you gotta get it up out of the way, but it still works. And then you have the shoulders, which you can manipulate these to get them however you like them. I think they look better all the way up, but you can kind of trick it to get a reverse butterfly. I'm not sure if I mentioned that on the on the back cube, on the uh, side swipe or not. But you can get the arms all the way up, so that's not an issue. You can get the arms swiveled around and you can swivel the, actually, the actual soft ratchet here at the joint connection. So all of that works fine. And then you have this tire, which can uh, hinge out of the way. Not that that we really need it to, but it can do it. If you want it to, you can get it out to here. I don't know why you would want to, but okay. And then you have a bicep swivel. You have a single hinged elbow, correct? Yes. That gets you a little bit past 90 degrees, so no issue there. You have a, a wrist hinge here, a wrist swivel, and then the fingers are on a base pen knuckle, and they're all on the same pen. So no individual articulated fingers, which I think is fine. And then you have this bit, which you can manipulate well as well on a soft ratchet to kind of get it where you need it for posing and such. So no issues. All sort of works kind of uh, fine. And then you have... Uh, Universals here, they're tensioned. You get out to there. This looks very plain to me. I don't know if I mentioned that on the side swipe, but it looks very unfinished to me. And then the pins don't help it at all. And then you get all the way out to here. So articulation works great. And then you have the thigh swivel. The knees are all wonky on this one, the same way that they're wonky on the other one. So they have a tendency to go too far forward. You can get them to go back to 90, maybe a little bit past 90 degrees. So that's cool. And then you have some paint, which we do need to talk about, but we're gonna do it here in a second. Ankles, you get a tilt down, a tilt up, 
you get, uh, yeah, you get a tilt up, not so much a tilt down, a, maybe a little bit with this one. And then you have an ankle rocker that works just fine. And then the heel spur, which can uh, move around to give you some extra stability. This guy isn't as stable as side swipe because he doesn't have the fender pieces along the back. So even with the heel spurs deployed, he has a tendency to want to fall backwards, which is another issue. Um, that doesn't come as a surprise to me at, at, at this juncture, but that's the situation. So the only other thing I got to talk about is some of the paint accents. Uh, they're not done well. It's very light and thin. It's a red. They use it here, here, there, and there. It could definitely use a second coat. It's just not applied, uh, extremely well, uh, which is a bummer because it would have looked nice on there, I think. And there he is from the back. I think he's a little bit cleaner on the back but I mean you still I mean it's I don't know I don't care for I don't care for these designs personally but um objectively I have to say that like you know the articulation works and all that kind of stuff but there's a, some aesthetic things I like about it as well and speaking of which let's take a look at him next to the Takara there it is next to the Takara it's the same situation as before I do feel like things clean up better in some regards on the back cube I feel like the chest looks a lot better obviously I feel like the legs look a lot cleaner there's no doubt about it I still feel like the arms look weird I think the big doors hanging off the arms make them look a little bit better but I still think it looks a little strange I have however seen a picture which I'll include right here of somebody that swapped out the Takara arms and put them on the bag cube and that looks great. Obviously, you'd have to use the white mold of the red alert to make this work, but I think that looks significantly better proportion-wise. But back to these guys, it's the same thing. I think some stuff cleans up better on the bag cube, and I think that some stuff cleans up better on the Takara. This area is a lot cleaner on the Takara, obviously, and then the knee area is better on the Takara. I think the arms look better on the Takara, but I think the legs look better on the bag cube if you're going for cartoon accuracy, and the chest obviously looks a lot more condensed on the bag cube if you're going for cartoon accuracy. The head sculpt, I think, is much more of a subjective thing, but uh, I mean, I think that this one does look more cartoon accurate. I just think this one looks cooler, but it does get lost, you know, in that larger chest. So, like, I get it. I get why people like this aesthetically. There's just a lot wrong with it for me to co sign it. Negatives wise, a lot of the materials still feel cheap and flimsy and also there's a softer plastic being used a lot throughout the skeleton of the engineering in order to allow the overcomplicated transformation to take place. That is my biggest issue with both of these guys. They just don't feel like what I'm paying for or what I would have paid for had I paid for it. This guy also has a tendency to be fairly back heavy. He's got a larger backpack it seems and he doesn't have the extra heel support of the spoiler to help keep him upright. You may find that that's an issue. Otherwise, most of my complaints are kind of the same. The upper body transformation isn't fun or enjoyable. A lot of the areas look unfinished, including this section, which I find to be the most troubling. I do feel like the side kind of looks a little bit better on this guy than it does on the side swipe. Oh, and now I moved him so he'll never stand up again. But there's just, there's just an awful lot wrong with this. And the reason why people are forgiving it is because there's an awful lot of aesthetics that are right. And I get that. I have toys myself that I enjoy the way they look so much that I forgive a thousand and one things that are wrong with it in order to enjoy the purchase. But that doesn't mean that I don't recognize those shortcomings. Boom, ping, pow, wham, bam, shazam. However, the articulation works for the most part. A lot of good sculpt work on them. They definitely do a cleaner job of the leg. It's just very clean. It's very sharp. I love the way that the proportions on the chest and upper body look I get it but at this point if you're gonna make me swap out you're gonna have to knock my socks off and this barely unties my shoes but much like the side swipe I believe in the same way that if you're happy with the way this looks and looks are the biggest part of your collection which I totally understand it's a big part of mine I think you'll be happy picking this up if you're iffy on it I'd lean towards passing and that's kind of how I feel about both of these offerings thanks again to Robert D for letting me take a look at it and thank you for listening thanks for watching until next time take care